Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Dart and JavaScript. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, if developers are complaining about the difficulty of working with JavaScript, why don't they use Dart instead? Well, I would say that that's probably like suggest uh, that's kind of like getting out of the frying pan into the fire uh, for a lot of for the people who think that JavaScript are is a bad choice I would say you see the the dirty secret that nobody is telling you about why people hate JavaScript is because they don't know it that's the problem they hate it because they don't know how to deal with it and when you don't deal uh, know how to deal with it uh, at least I think it's, it's a little bit funny that you seem to blame the language for that. And sure, you can adopt Dart. That's not... I mean, uh, nobody's stopping you from adopting Dart, but the, the problem is that the, uh, like the entire ecosystem of the web is designed for JavaScript. And Dart, although it has support, is not a stable solution. It's not going to work, uh, actually, because in some cases you can't use Dart. You will need JavaScript because you have other, like you have third parties or you have other stakeholders that might need you to use JavaScript to solve the thing in question. And it is the de facto standard. Dart was, let's say at best, a failed attempt to replace JavaScript. Today you can use Dart in Flutter if you wanted to do that, but it's still not a viable it's it's not a viable option for doing web development. You can absolutely do things with it, but it's very similar to you saying to someone who doesn't like Java that all right, you don't like Java because it's not a really nice experience for you. Well, then you should work in Haskell. Sure, you can do that. There's like Haskell is a great language, but it's uh, it's so wild. Like it's such a uh, you get so detached from how practically all the things related to standard development works that it's going to be a hard transition for you. It's going to be an even harder transition. So in this scenario uh, between JavaScript and Dart, I would say that I would call it the lesser evil. I'm not saying that Dart is a bad language, I'm not saying that JavaScript is a bad language, I'm saying that the it, every single thing you want to do, practically related to web development, is orchestrated around the assumption that you are using JavaScript. And as soon as you want to go outside of that box, the you will have to go over hurdles a lot more than you would have if you just stick with, say, JavaScript. An example would be for me, that is even fa I think even fairer than this, is like I love Rust, the Rust programming language. I think it's the best language uh, that we've seen in quite some time, and I'm really, really uh, happy to work in it. And I think it's fun to learn about it. And I want to. I mean, I at the mental level, I go. I want to do everything in this language if I can, with one very important exception. Because I saw saw people trying to uh, ask the question, can I do Android development with Rust? Can I do iOS development? Well, technically you can, because you can actually, I mean, you can compile this down uh, for those platforms. But I stopped myself immediately there, and I said, that's probably not a good idea. And the reason why it's not a good idea isn't because it can't be done. It is because those platforms are very tailored to work for specific languages. They're very associated with specific languages. So if you opt out of that, you're going to have to be a trailblazer by yourself. And some people really love that challenge, but people who want to be productive and just get stuff done, which is the vast majority of the people who hate JavaScript, that's why they hate it. Mm -hmm. They're, the, the, it's not a good investment for you because you're gonna e even if you get away from the problems that come with the one like the one part of uh, one evil, you're gonna get to deal with a much bigger evil that might be even worse. So what I want you to take away from this is that I don't 
see, like, I believe that the reason why you w shouldn't go from JavaScript over to Dart if you don't like JavaScript is because you're simply opting out of the mainstream solution. So if you think it's hard dealing with the web with JavaScript, I promise you, you're going to have, for, unless you are a trailblazer, you're most likely going to face even worse challenges by going outside of that box. If the web were to open up and JavaScript didn't have the stranglehold on the browser, things might change. But as with me and Rust and like web and mobile development, I think that you should make the same choice. You should understand that some platforms are very tightly coupled to a specific set of solutions or a specific language. And although you can be a trailblazer and go outside of that, odds are that you will lose quite a lot of productivity and other benefits uh, by doing so. And that's on you. If you want to make that choice, that's up to you. But I would not recommend that for the normal standard de like developer working for a company of a, of any size because you're you're very likely to put your company and your customers in a bit of a risky position in and where it, the real solution here would be for you to actually embrace javascript and add typescript or something else like add uh, try to work with it try to figure out how to master the problem instead of trying to shy away from it have a great day